hi guys welcome back to my channel lily equestrian and in today's video it is going to be a horsey bun all you can see is his bun dougie dougie Doug. come here say hiya hiya to the camera Mwah. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. And in today's video, it is how to groom a horse. So, this is just my personal preference of what I think is the best way to groom a horse and which brushes I think are the best. At least Diamond Gelding isn't here because I haven't announced you to the new gelding yet. So, yeah. Sorry, new stallion. We have a stallion. Don't be dug. <laughs> Our fourth stallion. Hello! I was going to use one of the other 30 horses today, but I ended up just using Dougie. So, yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell. I'm actually filming this now whilst I'm editing because the one I filmed earlier was way too long. But yes, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell. Dougie is just being. Okay, everyone, my duck is tied up where I have my grooming kit. Um, yes. I also just want to say before I stop. <laughs> Alright, you can be in it as well. I also just want to stay. Stay. I also just want to say before I start this video, um, thank you so much. Dougie. Thank you so much to the gal who recommended loads of horsey videos. I'm really grateful for her. I'll put a little pit or picture up right now. If you guys are wondering what it gave me, and I'll find it really helpful if all of you guys gave me video ideas. I really do appreciate any sort of advice, video ideas, like anything like that. Dougie, what are you doing to yourself? I don't even know. Stand. This horse is a pain in the bum. As I say, he's a pain in the bum. He's just rubbing my... His head on my bum. My Dougie. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm now going to start. I should have chose Ruby. Oh, God. I could have actually done diamond. But it's just because I was in this. Hey Rubes! Right, let's do, let's do this boy. Should we introduce all the brushes? Dougie, pack it in. Dougie. Just going to retie him guys. A bit tighter than what it is. Dougie, pack it in. Dougie. Oh my god, what is wrong with Shetlands? Especially this one. Dougie, enough. Stop. I love you. Good boy. Much better. Oh my god, Doug. Do you mind? Do you mind? What the hell? Do you mind? we put you where you're not going to eat it don't know whether that's a good view or not it's just going to have to do I mean it's probably better than the last one but guys what I'm going to do first is just show you all the brushes yes you're having a groom well done Dougie stop it um, so yeah this isn't there is no proper way how to brush a horse but this is just how I brush my horses and how I recommend it. Dougie, stop it. Where'd you pack her in? By the way, guys, never usually wear green, it's just because it's a riding polo top. Green isn't really my thing, but yeah. So, this one I'm now about to show you isn't a must have, 
but I think it is in the winter. There's all different types of these. Um, I can't actually remember what they're called. Oh yeah, metal curry comb. Dougie, stop it. Right, I'm just going to ignore him, guys, so you do the same. Um, he's still a baby, so he's a bit of a monkey by being green. So this um, gets rid of all the winter coat and everything, and as a Shetland, what he is. Did that make any sense? I don't think so. Um, but because he is a Shetland, this is very needed, because Shetlands don't get rid of their winter coat till about july it is now june and he's still got wind coat it wasn't as bad as it was before but he's still got it he's now trying to eat the curry comb yes yeah, so this is called a metal curry comb there's all different types of it this one isn't that good i do have other ones i just can't bother to walk over to the tack room again and show you guys another one um i would like to use another horse now as well but um, no, stop it. Um, yeah, because my mum and auntie have started riding the horses, so um, diamond is already being used, so I can't use diamond or crystal because they are the ones being ridden. And they are like the best behaved, so is Ruby, but she is really cute already. Right, turn around. And I just want to say guys, brushes are really, really expensive things and grooming kits as well. Dougie, pack it in. Um, oh, like I said, I'm just going to ignore him now. Um, they're really expensive. Stop eating her boots. They're really expensive guys and yeah, they're just really expensive. <laughs> so this you can just go all over their body but not their legs and their face. So like their tummy and everything you can just not their face and guys you probably think it's really sharp and going to hurt the horse no you can push down hard if they have their winter coat if they're like ruby i'll show you oh, no i won't because i can't pop the back up like that again that was hard um ruby has lost her winter coat and dougie hasn't um stop it and yeah so with a winter coat horse you can push down hard obviously not so hard but you can push down hard this also gets lots of the horse's coat which is really good you don't need to You should turn around so people can actually see what I'm doing. You're not very good filming horse, are you? So you start at their withers, which is where their mane ends. But this horse just has such long mane, his 
mane goes all the way to his back so I just have to pull it up and his withers are here and you go under their tummy on their back this is a really really nice massage for the horses um, so when you use this brush it is like um, bonding time with your horse because it's just so um, like it's just such a good massage and it lifts up all their itchy hair so when horses actually have loose hair it's actually really itchy for them so this is going to be nice like massage and comfiness like everything's just good in this brush so I definitely recommend this brush you love this brush don't you young man see look if I wasn't using this brush you wouldn't be standing still right now good boy just because he loves it so much all my horses are like this even like like three months horses like my little foals absolutely love it so some people do do their brushes in order okay guys sorry my camera cut off but that is fine so i just grabbed a cup of tea anyway well i didn't leave him but my auntie came over with a cup of tea for me oh stop it no um yes i'm british <laughs> um so yeah my camera cut off so what i was saying not everyone has their brushes in order some people like just do their brushes in random order but this is my order that i do them so the order i'm showing you is the order that i do them beverly loves drinking out my cup i would give you some cup of tea mate i'm just thirsty okay okay i'm sorry darling right for you to come turn around again yeah magic brushes are literally magic so they can go all over a horse's body if it does go on their face you need to be careful because it is hard bristles but you can still do it on their face it lifts up any dirt or dust at all which is so good he looks like a right old oh i can't really see it but he looks like a foal when i lift his mane up you're one years old, aren't you, Doug? You're one. Yes. You're one years old. Yes, good boy. Dougie. This is another brush which is definitely a must-have. these sorts of videos because I can just like chat whilst I'm doing it I love like I'm such a chatterbox so I find this quite nice just screwing my horse and talking to you guys talking to a camera <laughs> thank you Doug thank you and the next one I use, we're getting onto the proper brushes now. So next I have a dandy brush. Stop it, young man. I have a dandy brush now. Dandy brushes flick away any dust. They're again hard bristles. They are just a definite must-have item. All of my brushes are. Some people literally use two brushes, three brushes, a mane and tail brush. Um, a dandy brush and a hoover pit. No, I use loads, guys. So my horses are clean. <laughs> this again can go all over their body apart from their face. Good boy. See, look, he was standing still when I was using the curry comb. This is the massage bottle, but it's not now. Move over. Move over. Good boy. Manners. Manners. God, that's what I have to deal with every single time I groom him. Which all 30 of my horses need grooming every day. Well, they don't need to, but I just think it's so much more healthier for a horse if they're brushed every day. Some of my horses are brushed twice a day. Dougie is one of them. He gets brushed now and then in the morning. Dougie, pack it in. 
So you're kind of thinking, how do you cope with riding every single horse, or like exercising every single horse, because I can't ride Shetland or the retired ones. But yes, my retired horses do get lunged every day. My Shetland, my Shetlands get jumped. And then obviously I ride the Irish sports horses. That is because my mum and my auntie also help me. Um, Um, so yeah, and we also do do our evening routine all the way till 8 o'clock because again we have to feed all the horses, we have to poo pick stables, fields, yeah it's really hard work, I definitely don't recommend having 30 horses but <laughs> it's literally jobs, jobs, jobs. But yeah, so let me chatting on, it is now the soft brush slash what some people can call it body brush would you stop it i'm gonna put a muzzle on you i don't have one but i'll go get one come on the shop mate we carry on do you understand don't bite me so yes you're just such an attention seeker this brush is really really nice um if you want a nice shiny smooth coat on a horse this is definitely your brush and this is from Shires um, it's just such an amazing brush in every single way I love the handle on it um, my handle is actually silk so that is really nice for me to brush them as well and you can definitely see how expensive this brush is because of the silk and the finishing results it gives and this is actually the last body brush I use um, it's just perfect in every way for a smooth and soft silky coat. This is again for all over their body apart from the face. This isn't a very good tutorial so you can't really see what I am doing but I'm trying my best guys. I really should have used another horse. I guess you can sort of like, if you're not an equestrian at all, you don't need to go and stand, but if you are an equestrian, you should understand this really easily. I'm not telling you how to brush a horse because there is no real way of brushing a horse at all. So all I'm showing you is just my recommendations for brushing a horse. No. What I do when a horse bites, I get my fist, I punch them on the nose, not hard, but I punch them on the nose, and he's got his ears back now. It wasn't even hard at all, but they listen then. No. If they keep on doing it, you get harder and harder each time. He is a baby, so he doesn't really understand all the things, but yeah. If you also wanted training for your horses, um, put in the comments. And guys, what I want you to do in today's video, if you have a horse or a lone pony or something, put in the comments the problems that they have, um, whether they walk off when you try to mount on them or not. Put them in the comments and I will um, literally do a whole video on you and your horse. But I am a horse trainer as well as a animal rescuer. Obviously, it's not really my business, but it's just only my mum and my auntie do it. Some of my other aunties do it as well. Um, and then I just help out. Oh, yeah, so what, what to tell you guys? So, this brush is a mane and tail brush. You brush their forelock, which is this, their mane and their tail which you can't see but i'm pretty sure you guys can work out what a tail is i'm actually brushing the tail because i plaited it i'm not going to take his plait out yet because he actually kept it neat for once he always takes plaits out within 10 minutes don't you darling um so yeah i will do a video on just you and your horse if you want me to he's not biting now so now get a snack good boy um so 
Next brush is a face brush. This is really soft for their face and I definitely recommend it. Um, it doesn't really do much, um, but again, it's soft bristles, so it leaves your horse with a smooth face. And it is just a tiny little one. Some people do get thin ones, but I prefer like ones that go down like this, but in a face brush version, so just softer than that. Um, I prefer the round ones. They're so much better. Face brushes you don't really need to work on. You only need this if you're going to put a bridle on your horse that day. Which Dougie never has a bridle on, but you still do it. Next is a hoof pick. Yes. Mm. Hello, Ruby. I was wondering who that was coming around the corner. I got well scared. Goodness. Right, no biting. No, no biting her. Drink in the tea. Put that down there because I now need my stool to show you guys. Because this one, so yeah, this one I will need to show you guys. I don't think you'd really be able to see it. I wish I had someone to film this. Um, yeah, hoof pick. You use it. But hoofs. Oi, no biting. So, pick up their foot if they don't pick it up you lean into them i've not proper picked it up yet because he is really good at picking it up as you can see it's all this dirt in here dougie ah uh -uh, no so dougie likes to try and rear like you saw there i don't stand for it smack him no walk forward walk forward stand stand Stand. He's a pain in the ass. No, I do have a training series for this, but if your horse does this as well, I'm not using the training right now. Pick up. But yeah, covered in mud. I have sort of just get on with it quickly with him. No. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little triangled like an upside down triangle in their foot. Um, that you don't pick. Some people do use a brush just to brush it off, but I don't, don't need to be perfect. Now I'm gonna do his back feet. So you can't see what I'm doing now, but yeah. I think you sort of get the just, oh, and also guys, um, a rule with this, well it's not a rule, but just a tip so you don't get any mud in your eyes, is to always um, pick it downwards. <laughs> juice the other day in a cup he actually drinks it like a proper person good boy you're me tiny boy he does that face when he wants something you're so quirky <laughs> right that is it for today good boy so it wasn't that interesting, but it's just because I now do daily videos. 
yeah, I'll take just the lead right now so you can get in the camera properly. I'll just hold you. Right. Yeah, so I do daily videos now, guys. Hang on, no, I'm trying. Them. So yeah, I do daily videos now, so I just thought I'd do this. It wasn't that great of filming. If you do, if you don't understand it, I will do another video where someone is filming it for me so you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, yeah, I tried my best and if you didn't understand it, put it in the comments and I will do, um, no, I don't think so. I will do another one sometime. Um, I don't think you can like it, Doug. There's only a tiny bit left. All right. <laughs> you can't see it. Dougie, back. 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 He loves it. Put your head up then and you'll get it. Okay, <laughs> good boy. He absolutely loves that. And after every single groom with Doug, he does an exercise. He just goes on the walker whilst I ride 10 horses.